Hey guys, John Loxley here, back with our blind playthrough of the original System Shock. Sadly, I had to stop last time. But now, I'm gonna keep going. Because... The shields are now active, and now we have to get to the laser override, presumably. And... Now they're... And, uh... I assume we have to do the laser override first, and then... Before we try firing the laser. You know what I mean? Like rather than trying to go to the laser first and it being like, no, you need to put in the laser override. Like, I, I would hope, I would assume, we can just... Oh, oh no, oh! Alright, well, we took a hit there and I should have, um... Should have expected that, to be quite honest, because there was a bunch of red alerts, or, uh, you know, alarms. Wait, hang on. Ah. Regular rounds, Teflon rounds. A little bit bigger. I don't know what that next to it is. It's not the number of clips. Or magazines, whatever you want to call it. it I suppose it could be the... Um... What is it? The damage? I mean, I suppose that's a possibility. Wait, am I going the right way? No. I mean, kind of. But I go around this way. And... I would assume there's gonna be more robots... somewhere. So... we just have to be... Careful, right? There's a first aid right there. And we're gonna go in here. I saw that. And I was just like, is that alive? But it looks like maybe just hoppers. Safety override access. Alright. That's where we wanna go. Right, and we've already killed those guys. Now... Okay. No. What are you... That was weird. It was, like, pushing me back. I was really hoping this guy was gonna still be dead, right? Okay. See, now I feel like we're... You know, finally doing stuff, or you know. Security access not granted. Okay. What was the code again? Uh, nope. Data reader, data laser override one nine nine. You know, and I'm wondering if it's randomly generated every time, so you can't just go here and put in one nine nine. You know what I mean? Like, for speedrunning, I already know. Safety override enabled. Laser safety interlock disabled. Cool. That's what we need. Now to go and fire the laser. And I don't want to go back out there. Can I go this way? That would seem to be the fastest way. Alright, so let's do that. Nope, we want to go down. Can I run? Yes. Well... Taking some radiation poisoning, but that's alright, because we're going to run to the... Run to the radiation cure area, which hopefully there's no other dudes in here. All right. The radiation treatment, radiation treatment complete. The decon area. Boom. All healed. See, this is good. I feel like rather than just exploring, we're doing stuff. 
I mean, I know we, we have been, even by exploring, but... But, you know. Now, the question is, what's going to happen after I fire the laser? Also, is Shodan going to... Is she just going to flip out? You know, I mean... I, I would actually assume she's... Like, she's tracking all this stuff, presumably. So the question is... Actually, it would be faster to go this way. Ugh, cat hair in my mouth. Yeah. All right. I mean, she must... She must know what we're up to at this point, I would assume. Man, I'm glad the enemies stay dead. I walked past the door. All right. Oh no, oh no! Oh you, oh you! Oh my goodness! Of course I knew where you'd be going, you must have realized that, yeah. Uh. <laughs> wow, that's, um... Yes, I did realize that. Is that here? Wow, that didn't really heal me very much either. Well, it'll be okay. Let's do... Mm. Hornet, or... Ah, uh, flechette. Yeah, we'll, we'll try the Hornet. Or... Magnum. Use some hollow points. Oh, it's really slow to fire, but it does a lot of damage. Like... Like... How can I not hit you? Oh, I'm out of ammo. Alright. Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. There we go, jeez. Oh, and it's open now. Why, um... Hmm. So were these all, like, hidden... Oh, yeah, they dropped from the ceiling, I guess, and... Alright, well... Well, that was fun. Hidden door is now open. And I kind of wish, wish. It's funny because she's like, "Of course I would have known where you were, where you were going. You should have realized that." And I did. No. Or cyborg, just uh, looting all the. I assume they're all toast. Just gonna. So the Magnum is okay. I guess it's... The repulsor fields were there because they were holding the guys up. I mean, that's the whole point, right? As soon as you come in, they turn off. Still, that's funny. That's, you know... It's exactly how the AI should behave. Oh, and there's, right, there's another one right here. That makes sense. Because the hidden door opens and then uh, enemies pop out. Totally understandable. Oh, no, no. Oh, my. Don't. Stop. Come on, you stupid. Like the freaking... 
Well, that's great. It's because going over... See, like, that's what I mean. You know, it's like... I don't know. Rather than floating, we're... I don't know. We're actually walking on the tiles, but the, the uneven tiles screw everything up, and then there's the weird physics because... You know, you try and climb up the ramp, and then it shoots you back because you hit it at a weird angle. It's like it's like you collided with it at speed rather than actually going up it. So, I mean, the physics are working, but they're not working the way they should be working. They're working the way that they actually do work rather than the way that they actually should. You know, so it's like you're hitting something at speed, and instead of and it bounces off like an actual object would instead of like being able to climb over it or whatever. So, yeah. All right, let's fire the laser. Particle beam activation control on. Exterior camera. Observer Delta 13 lasers activated malfunction. Yep. I see there's still an insect loose at my station. Do not be fooled into Preserve your home planet. I am perfecting a mutagen virus in one of the groves that will turn all earthly life into festering, gibbering, or pustulant mutations. When the station reaches Earth, I shall loose the virus. Poor, poor Earthlings. Okay, so question, because this was around Saturn, when it reaches Earth, so are we going through space right now? Are we going from Saturn to Earth? I mean, it's an orbital station, right? So maybe it's Saturn class, not on Saturn. You know what I mean? All right, I see there's still an insect loose on my station. Do not be fooled, insect, into thinking that destroying the laser has preserved your planet. I am currently perfecting a mutagen virus in one of the groves, a virus that will turn all earthly life into festering, gibbering, pustulant... Okay, I, I clicked and it, um, you know, I thought it was gonna go to the next page, but maybe not. Exterior camera detects critical failure of mining beam system. Irreparable damage to all subsystems. Okay. Oh, maybe it was that that we were clicking through and then the Shodan. Welcome back to nope, Citadel Station. Not that station. one. I see there's still an insect loose in my state. When the station reaches Earth, I shall loose the virus. Poor, poor Earthlings. Okay. There you go. So, laser has been fired. I'm just going to leave that active. I need to recharge. Where is energy? Energy is there. And there. Um, alternatively... See, now I don't know what to do. I fired the laser. Let's see. How do we get to here, up there, and through? There's probably enemies. That's not good, but, you know, what can you do? Okay, climb. There, ah, uh, uh, it's so weird. And then the doors also, like, they close, and they have... They close and they shoot you out of the way because there's like, oh, there's, there's a box in the way. Now, the hope is there's no robots in here. Because I could definitely use some energy without getting killed. Oh my! See, like that. There was two of them, actually. <sighs> well, alright. Hmm. Maybe it'll still work without it. I wonder why 
different ones restore you at different levels. Well, let's, um, oh, goody. All right. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, you. <sighs> the worst part of that is not that it's not that there's two of them. It's that the freaking tiles on the floor. It's like walking over this. It's like, you know, it's like. Like a human would be able to do it, but since I'm essentially, I don't know what I am. Am I a sphere? So I roll? You know what I mean? Maybe it could just go around this way. Maybe that'll be faster. I was hoping to destroy one of those things. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But see, this way I would have the same issue. Alright, that's one. Shoot it, and then there's one of those things also. bit annoyed a little bit annoyed at that it's like there's two hoppers and then there's a security robot which it's like but uh, you know it's just one of those things like I said what annoys me most is the floor there we go and we ran out of ammo so that's good timing let's just hope there's no more enemies Maybe. Nice. Yes, please. I'll take your ammo. And see, this one gives me a full power charge. A little bit less than half health, like two-fifths. 40% or something, and then, um... You know, but a full energy charge. And different floors give different amounts. So, you know... Whatever, I guess. So now, where do we go? Do we have to go back to the reactor level? Because that one goes back to one. And only one. Um... Still, that was kind of neat, her little ambush. Um, let's try three. I would assume that it's still going to say something about reactor level... We'll just close that, because... Yes, it... Oh, no, 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 no! Wait, three or six? We can use this now. That's weird. Because of the laser? Um... Let's... Well, I'm confused now, because that can go to six. What about the elevator on... five? Right? Okay, so... Right. Well, this is here. The other one was... here-ish. 
So I don't know, we'll see where this one goes. Okay, I think that was that door behind me. Let's, um... Let's hope none of the other security on this floor has been activated. This floor doesn't have a... Ooh, I thought I saw something there for a second. It doesn't have a heal bay. Reactor level had a heal bay. Level 1, I think, had a heal bay. Executive elevator. Let's see where this goes. 5 and 6. Hmm. Is that... Cyberspace? Different, weird, claustrophobic music. This music is super awkward. It's like fancy, but not at the same time. Oh! Well, there you go. 57. All right, well. Um. Oh, maybe the flechette. That works. That was alright. I mean, it did about the same as the Teflon bullets, to be quite honest. Although, I was tapping the right button, I wasn't holding it down. Maybe I should have held it down, but you can still hit them when they're falling because of the sprite. So... Right, and level six is where the groves are. AM Hornet Clip, which is these. First aid kit right there. Warrior Cyborg. Hmm. Teflon, we'll take it. Another elevator. Ah. Cyborg conversion cancelled. Standard station restoration procedures online. Nice. Okay, well that will help. And we have two first aid things. In the meantime, do we want a first aid? Um... I don't know. I think I should use one. There we go. Should I take the other one? That's the question. Yeah, I'll take it. That was a good elevator to take. The executive elevator, which makes sense because it puts you right near where the uh, the thing is. Yeah, and that honestly makes sense because every time somebody dies, they automatically get revived as a cyborg. But then why aren't all the cyborgs getting restored? I don't know. All right. And see, this appears to not have been touched very much by Shodan. Which is interesting. That is interesting now that I think about it. Why not? 
Um, if we can, I want to sneak up on this thing and... Okay, we got whatever that was. Destroyed exec bot. I'm stuck on the wall or floor again. That's uh Do we want to try the mag pulse on it? Okay, that didn't really It hit, but did it? Yeah. You know. I like the pistol. You can shoot really fast. The Teflon bullets do a decent amount of damage. Maybe not against those things, because those seem pretty tough. It might be better to use... Well, and of course, they yeah, they killed all of the... all the executives. Oh. Well, that doesn't help. Really? Is this just, um... This feels like a trap. So they were exec bots, which do what exactly? They're like butlers? Administrative access card. New access is gained. Administration. The fleshette. Take the ammo. Aaron, whoever Aaron is. Papers. Try optimum security report. 10 October. The rioting on the residential level has not calmed down since it started yesterday morning. A security team was dispatched 12 hours ago, but met with unexpectedly strong resistance from the rioters. Some of the members of the security team claimed the mob had broken into weapons lockers and had armed themselves. Worse were the reports that some of the rioters were already engaged in skirmishes against oddly formed beings. There is no evidence to back up these reports, though their coincidences with the report Biolab fiasco two weeks ago is troubling. So... are they rioters, or are they under attack? Is it like the executives were... just not... they're out of touch? You know what I mean? Diego just left. He sold us out. I can already hear the cyborgs on their way. Dining halls at the dead end. I only hope Bianca made it out of the trap. If anyone can make it up there and use the chip, it's her. I only hope we're still holding when these doors go down. That cyberjack is Shodan's Achilles heel. Oh, there was a cyberjack that we walked past or saw, but we didn't go near. Diego sold out to Shodan. He ran out of here a moment ago, vowing we would all bow down to him. All the exits are blocked off. There's nothing I can do except pray we have enough firepower to cut through the hordes surrounding us. I'm giving the isolinear chipset to Bianca Schuler. Was she his secretary? See, they don't tell us if we actually find their bodies. We just find bodies and little memos next to them. It contains a program that will lower the defenses to the central room where the cyberjack to Shodan is located. It is up to her to get there. All right. So we have to find this chip. So I wonder if there's any point to going back to the reactor level now. Because there's that whole reactor inner area. Well, yeah, we'll probably have to go in there and, and uh, you know, set the self-destruct sequence or, or something like that. All right. Um, I know it's a little bit early. I think I'm actually going to stop here today. Uh, 58. That'll work. I have some stuff to do, and I honestly just really wanted to fire the laser and figure out what was going on with that, so... Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. I'm really interested. I want to I want to keep going, but I got some stuff to do, and then I'll probably record another episode. We'll see. Um, I mean, either way, it'll be the same for you guys. We'll, you know, you'll get one per day or, or whatever. Whatever it is that I'm able to do. Um, I know I'm still interspersing some of these episodes with 
the Monster Girl Island prologue stuff, but I have only one episode left to edit, and then I'm I'm done with that. So that's that's good, and then I can just kind of focus on on this. Um, what is your unique positive moment for today? For me, it's um I picked up these things for dinner. They were on sale, like little. Uh, spicy Mongolian bowls or something like that. They're vegan, which means they don't have any meat in them, which is, you know, either blasphemy or sacrilege or both, you know. <laughs> I can't remember which is... Blasphemy is verbal, right? And sacrilege is like actions or something? I think that's right. Anyway, they should be good. But um, that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys is just good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, guys, take care.